Hi, I'm Alistair from Genius Hub, one of the tech support team here. We thought we'd put together some unboxing videos for you just so you can see exactly what you get in the box with each one of our devices, running through some of the features that they have so you know you get just the right things. Let's start with the Genius Radiator Valve. So when you open the box of the Genius Radiator Valve, you start off with the little information leaflet explaining to you how to install it. Second to that, you then get the valve itself. You can see from the valve that it has a battery compartment uh, and a screen at the end. So to get the battery uh, compartment open, you put your nail underneath the little catch and then you pull off the battery compartment. It comes off really easily. You'll then get a uh, two batteries uh, supplied with it. So two AA batteries, one fits in facing up the other one fits in facing down into the uh, little battery compartment. When you put the battery cover back on, you'll notice that actually it's quite tamper proof. So little children will struggle to get this off because you have to place your nail underneath the catch to be able to remove the battery cover. Inside the box, you also get two adapters. You get a thick one and a thin one. The thick one is for a Danfoss RA type of valve, and the thin one is the um, M30 valve. The M30 is the most common in the UK. Uh, if your valves are less than 10 years old, it's highly likely that the M30 will work absolutely fine. Inside the little pack, you also get an Allen key, which you can use uh, to help you put on the uh, Danfoss RA valve. The Genius radiator valve um, is compatible with pretty much every radiator that is on the market, apart from the very old ones. So if you want to know about the compatibility of your radiator valves you have in your home, we have a compatibility checker on our website. If you go to www geniushub.co.uk and then choose our support page you can type in the name of the radiator valves that you have currently even see some pictures of them so you can be 100% certain that your new genius radiator valve will be compatible with what you have already so one of the questions we get asked is what happens if you have many genius radiator valves in one room that's where they become uh, really clever actually so they work independently and also together so if you have two radiators in a room and you set the schedule so it's on at a certain time of the day, then those radiator valves will both warm up together and they'll both cool down together as if they're together because they're all in one room. However, if one of the uh, radiator valves is tucked behind a piece of furniture so the heat can't really get out, uh, or likewise if one of the radiator valves is on a cold part of the room, then they will work independently. So with the radiator that's uh, in a cold part of the room, that will actually work harder so it can heat up that part of the room. Likewise, with the Genius Hub, it's very customizable. So that radiator that's tucked behind a piece of furniture, you can actually tweak on the system for that radiator to work harder. So it might turn off sooner because it's working independently. It thinks that actually that part of the room is fine. But on the Genius Hub, you can actually tweak that radiator to work harder. That's one of the things that makes the Genius Hub uh, really customizable compared to the other systems on the market. Once you've installed the Genius radiator valve uh, onto the radiator, you also have manual control. So if you don't want to have to do it from the app, you can easily walk up to the valve and press either the left or the right hand button to either increase or decrease the temperature in the room. That acts as a temporary boost, so after a number of hours, it's whatever you set on the app, then the room will go back to what it was doing before. If you look at the uh, underneath of the valve, uh, you'll see that there's a servo motor. So this is very different to uh, a piece of wax that works in a normal thermostatic radiator valve, uh, a manual one that you might be used to. The Genius radiator valve has a thousand steps between open and closed, so it has a digital thermometer inside which will measure the temperature of the air and it will also measure the temperature of the water going into the radiator. That's one of the things that's almost unique to the Genius radiator valve, making it very, very accurate at controlling the temperature of your room. Far more accurate than a piece of wax, which is what you probably have currently in one of your thermostatic radiator valves. So there's a thousand steps, 
between open and closed, making it one of the most accurate valves on the market. It's also one of the quietest. It's one of the quietest because it uses a steel gearbox. If you put a vibrating object on the end of a metal radiator, like uh, one of the other radiator valves, uh, then obviously if that's vibrating when it's opening and closing, that will make noise that you will hear. So the valve has a steel gearbox that improves the length of time that this valve will last um, and also it improves how quiet it is. That's the Genius Radiator Valve.